Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will see how variables can be moved to different pages and also reused on the same page. As an example, I will move items from the wishlist page to the my back page based on my random selection. Let's get started. I've already imported the design from Figma and I will use two scenes. In the my back scene, I already added the mode on direction to speed up. But you can check my other video on how to make modal interaction. To start, when I tap the item 1 button, two things will happen. Firstly, I will store the value in the price variable with the price of the item 1. So I will add a variable called price for all screen with the number to reuse the variable in the other scenes. Next, I will add an assign response for the price variable and use the formula price variable adding 62.50, which is the price of the item 1. To learn more about the calculation, please check out my other video for calculating the amount. Secondly, I will let the other scene knows that item 1 is selected. To do so, I will add a variable called item1 for all screen with the number. Then I will add a sign response for item 1 with the formula 1. You will see in the next scene how we can use or how we are using the value 1. Lastly, to indicate that the item is selected, I will add the opacity response for item 1 button with opacity 20%. Then add the add condition for all the layers with item 1 button for opacity that is equal to 100. It means I will store the value only when the button is not pressed. Otherwise, 1 will be kept added when I click again. I did the same thing to item 2 and 3, so I'll skip the repeating process. Also, I added the tap trigger with the jump response to go to the other scene. Now, when I turn on all the bug mark and click each item in the preview, it adds up the value 1 and adds the price of the item in the price variable. Now, I will move these values in the next page. On my back scene, I can still see the variables. And the moving price is simple. I will add the start trigger and add text response for the price layer with the formula price variable plus euro currency as a string. I also add the form format to make the sense. You can check more on the Protopy website. And that's it. When I tap the item, you can see the price from previous that is past the next scene using the variable for all screen. And I can use this as many as I want. So I will duplicate this and reassign it to price checkout one and two, which is the price layers in the model. So when I tap the item from the wish list scene and come to my back page, not only I see the price in the checkout button, but also in the model when I click this checkout button. Great. Now to add the item I needed more manual work since there are so no other easy way. But if you calculate the number of cases, it's just repeating work. 
Currently, the items are in the same position and opacity is zero. And to reduce the number of cases, I made them in the same order for the wish list. So, what are the possible scenarios? The first case will be just adding one item for each item. I will add a condition for item 1 that is equal to 1. And add a second condition for item 2 that is not equal to 1. Again, I will add the third condition for item 3 that is not equal to 1. Then I will add opacity 100% for item 1. It means when I click item 1, only item 1 will be visible. I will copy and apply to item 2 and 3 by changing the condition and the opacity later. Now, what's the next case? When you add two items, it can be 1 and 2, 2 and 3, and 1 and 3. So, I will add a condition that two items are the same as 1, and only 1 is not equal to 1. Then assign two items that were 1 to opacity 100%. Then move the second item with move trigger with move by 200y position. I will skip the process since it's repeating. And lastly, the last case is to have all items selected. So all items will be equal to 1 and all the opacity will be 100%. Then item 2 will move by 200 pixels and item 3 will move by 400 pixels. You can see why I assigned one value in the previous scene. I am using that one as a hook to know what was selected in the previous scene. But it could have been 2 or 3 or other value as well. Additionally, I made all the opacity and move duration to zero, not to have an animation effect. But feel free to try it out differently. Finally, when I tap any items to move from the wish list to my back, you can see the items are added with the price that I signed and not only the checkout button, but also on the model sheet. Today I skipped minor interaction to focus on the concept of passing variables, but I hope it helped you to understand the concept of moving variables to other pages so that you can play around with it. That's it for today. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and check the bell to get notification for upcoming videos. See you soon!